Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang arithmetic series. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang arithmetic series. So, meron na akong naunang video about arithmetic sequence. So, kung hindi pa napapanood, ay link ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Kasi itong arithmetic series is related doon sa arithmetic sequence. Kasi para silang may word na arithmetic, right? So, kasi pag sinabing series, marilate siya sa sequence by adding lang yung mga terms ng sequence na yun. So, kung meron tayong arithmetic series, ibig sabihin, lahat lang ng terms ng ating arithmetic sequence is i-add natin. Okay? So, sabi, arithmetic series is the indicated sum of n terms of arithmetic sequence. So, yun na nga. So, kung meron tayong given arithmetic sequence, yung mga terms nun, i-add lang natin para magkaroon tayo ng series. So, yun yung difference ng sequence sa series, ha? Kapag sequence, kinoconsider natin mismo yung terms ng sequence. Kapag series, ina-add na natin yung mga terms ng sequence. Okay? So, meron akong example dito. Arithmetic sequence, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25. So, arithmetic sequence sila kasi meron silang common difference, right? Which is always 5. Okay? Tapos, pag ginawa natin arithmetic series, i-add lang natin yung mga terms na yun. So, kaya 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25. Okay? So, this is an example of finite series. Kasi meron tayong katapusan. Kapag arithmetic sequence naman na infinite, ibig sabihin wala tayong katapusan. So meron tayong dot 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 na symbol, ellipsis. Sabihin, sabihin magtutuloy-tuloy yun infinitely. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 9, yung sequence. Then kapag siniris natin, add lang natin. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, dot dot dot. Okay? So yun yung definition natin for series. So ngayon, dumako na tayo sa formula for finding the sum of the first entry of an arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, ang formula lang natin is S sub N is equal to N over 2 times quantity A sub 1 plus A sub N or S sub N is equal to N over 2 times 2 A sub N plus N minus 1 times D. Where S sub N is the sum of the N terms, A sub 1 is the first term, N is the number of terms, and D is the common difference. Okay. So, tandaan nyo lang na yung sum ng n terms ng arithmetic sequences, yung first at last term niya, times kung ilang terms yon then divide 2. Or, eto kasi, pwede nyo maderive itong pangalawang formula by substituting lang itong a sub n, yung formula natin sa arithmetic sequence na a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, therefore, pag inag nyo to, a sub 1 plus a sub 1 is 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And then, same lang dito sa n over 2. Okay? Okay. So, kailangan nyo lang kabisado yun itong formula para makapagsagot kayo ng any problem about arithmetic series. Okay, so let's try to solve some examples para may illustrate natin yung formula for arithmetic series. So, for the first one, we have find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence 15, 19, 23, 27, and so on. Okay, so this time, hanapin daw natin yung S sub 20 or first 20 terms itong arithmetic sequence. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung pangalawang formula kasi wala naman tayong last term, right? Meron tayong first term pero wala tayong pang 20th term. So, para direct substitute na lang, hinahanapin yung 20th term, gamitin lang natin tong n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, right? Kasi given naman tayo ng first term, tapos yung n natin bali is 20 kasi 20 terms. Tapos yung di mahanap natin dito. Subtract lang natin yung, let's say, 19 minus 15, 4. 23 minus 19, 4. 27 minus 23, 4. So, therefore, we have, sige, plug in na natin. S sub 20 is equal to, so 20, right, over 2 times 2. A sub 1 is 15 plus N, 20 uli, minus 1 times D na 4. So, direct substitution lang, right? So, therefore, we have, simplify natin. Ito muna, 20 divided by 2, 10. Then, 2 times 15, 30. Plus, 20 minus 1 is 19 times 4 is 76. 
Okay, so we have 10 times 30 plus 76 is what? 106. So 10 times 106 is 1060. So therefore, the sum of the first 20 terms of the sequence is 1060. Okay? Next, we have find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence if the first term is 3 and the 10th term is 39. Okay, so this time, pwede natin gamitin dito yung S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Kasi given tayo na yung N daw natin is 10. So, hanapin natin yung sum ng first N term. So, therefore, kailangan natin yung first term which is given na 3 at yung last term na A sub N which is yung pang 10th term which is given din na 39. So, pwede natin gamitin to. So, we have S sub 10 is equal to N which is 10 over 2 times a sub 1 is 3 plus A sub N is 39. So, we have 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 3 plus 39 is what? 42. So, 5 times 42 is 210. So, therefore, the answer is 210. Okay? Next, we have find the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence whose general term is A sub N is equal to 5 plus 3N. Okay? So, this time, given tayo nung formula for the arithmetic sequence na 5 plus 3n, hanapin daw natin yung sum ng first 12 terms. So, gamitin na lang natin yung S sub n is equal to n over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub n. So, hanapin natin yung A sub 1, tsaka hanapin natin yung A sub 12 or A sub n. Kasi, first 12 terms, right? So, n is 12. So, dito muna tayo sa A sub 1. So, palitan natin yung n ng 1. So, 5 plus 3 times 1 is equal to 5 plus 3 or 8. So, therefore, meron na tayong first term. Then, yung last term or yung a sub 12. So, we have 5 plus 3 times n is 12, right? So, 5 plus 3 times 12 is 36 or 5 plus 36 is 41. So, therefore, plug in na natin. So, n is 12 over 2 times a sub 1 is 8 plus a sub n is 40. One. So, therefore, we have 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 8 plus 41 is 49. So, what is 6 times 49? 294. So, therefore, the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence is 294. Okay? Next, we have find the sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic sequence whose third and 25th term are 21 and 87 respectively. Okay, so ang this time, ang given lang sa atin is yung third term or A sub 3 which is 21 tapos yung A sub 25 or yung 25th term na 87. So, hanapin daw natin yung sum ng first 40 terms. So, kailangan muna natin ma-determine yung n term ng arithmetic sequence. So, hanapin natin yung first term tsaka common difference. So, gawa tayo yung two equations into unknown which is yung A sub 1 tsaka D. Kagaya ng ginawa ko dun sa video ko sa arithmetic sequence. So, A sub 3, we have 21, right? Equal to A sub 1 unknown plus N. So, kapag A sub 3, N natin is what? 3, right? So, 3 minus 1 times yung D unknown pa rin. So, we have 21 is equal to A sub 1 plus 3 minus 1 or 2 times D. Equation 1. Then, for the 25th term naman, so we have 25 is equal to A sub 1 plus N natin is 25 minus 1 times D. So, 25 is equal to A sub 1 plus 25 minus 1 is 24. So, 24 D. Equation 2. Okay? So, therefore, eliminate natin si A sub 1. So, subtract natin ngayon. So, urong ko dito ah. Subtract natin ngayon itong equation na to. 1 tsaka 2. So, 21 minus 25 is negative 4. Equal, A sub 1 minus A sub 1 cancel. Tapos, 2D minus 24D is negative 22. Ah, sorry. Hindi pala 25, right? 87 pala. Sorry, ginawa kong N yung N term. 87 pala. So, kaya, 21 minus 87, it should be what? 66, right? So, negative 66 equal. So, cancel pa rin sa A sub 1. Then, 2D minus 24 is negative 22D. So, dividing both sides by negative 22, we have cancel si negative 22D is equal to what? 3, right? So, para masolve natin ngayon sa A sub 1, 
Gamitin na lang natin to Equation 1. So, 21 is equal to A sub 1 plus 2 times D na 3. So, we have 21 is equal to A sub 1 plus 2 times 3 is 6 transpose. So, parang 21 minus 6 is equal to 81. And in 21 minus 6, 15, right? So, therefore, A sub 1 is 15. Okay, so meron na tayong A sub 1, common difference na D. So, hanapin na lang natin yung sum nung 40 terms. So, gamitin na lang yung formula ng S sub N is equal to N over 2 times 2A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, N natin is 40 kasi 40 terms, right? 40 over 2 times 2 times A sub 1 is 15 plus N is 40 minus 1 times D is 3. Okay, so we have 40 divided by 2 is 20 times 2 times 15 is 30 plus 40 minus 1 is 39 then times 3 is 117 and then we have 20 times 30 plus 117 is what 147 so 20 times 147 is 2940 so therefore the sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic sequence is 2940 okay Okay, so I think that's it for this video, arithmetic series. So, mahalaga na kabisado nyo lang naman yung formula for the arithmetic series para masagutan nyo yung any problem dito. And then, practice lang kayong mag-solve ng more problems about arithmetic sequence and series para ma-master nyo ito. Okay? So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.